Hello everyone and welcome back to Visit Foul Coast. Check out our website, social media and vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell for notifications and sign up online for your Visit Foul Coast emails. Packed full of interesting things straight to your inbox. There's a few changes taking place soon at the Hounds Hill. Hounds Hill, this is the Victoria Street entrance underneath the lovely Blackpool Tower. And the sun's glaringly bright at the moment on the on the side of the, the building on the sign. So there's some exciting stuff coming soon. And you never know, at some point we might get an announcement about Debenhams. Now that'll be interesting. So a few weeks ago we commented that the Coronation Rock Shop had got a Master Henry's sign in the window. And Master Henry's, this is the Harrow's Hill one, is stopping put. And I've just been talking to the lovely ladies down there and they're opening. They're opening another store. So we will we will watch this space and we will see we will see what we can see. So you find them in the Hounds Hill and outside in, in the, the town centre. It's a couple of weeks since we went for a look at the work at the Hounds Hill, so I thought it would be churlish not to take a look while I'm standing at the end of Victoria Street, just for the sake of completeness. There you go, the, the, new, the new confirmed IMAX cinema. It's, it's been described as an IMAX style cinema. Well, now we know that the contracts have been signed and it's definitely going to be an IMAX. Being a, being a sheltered little puppet, I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I'm sure all will be revealed with the passage of time. So this is the side that we'd seen last time but the steel work at the other side is all starting to take shape. They've actually got a panel out there at the side of the car park. I wondered if we could perhaps have a little bit of a nose. I don't want to give the workmen vapours. I just I just take my hat off to him working in such a tight space. It's such a confined spot to try and build a building in. Well, it's uh, it's definitely cracking on. It's definitely cracking on. So there's a, a there's a diversion in place. You can still get into the Hounds Hill car park. So this is the access road for the Hounds Hill car park. Um, and there's a diversion in place while you're accessing it, so you've got to go up Albert Road. I think it seems a bit better from here. So it's going to block out the view of the tower from the side of the Winter Gardens. Wow. It's going to be impressive. So inside the building, there's a obviously the IMAX. There's a gaming hub. Downstairs is going to be a Wilkinson's supermarket shop, which I'm, I'm looking forward to going in. And then there's going to be all the, the IMAX cinema, restaurants, cafes and, and all the rest of it. So it's going to be super duper brilliant. It's cracking on a pace now. And no trip to Blackpool. No trip to Blackpool Town Centre would be complete without a little look at Church Street. The central road that kind of connects everything together. So this is, this is the road down to the sea, down there. Grand Theatre on your left. Viva, down here. And then if you turn round, if you turn round, not too quickly, I don't want to make you dizzy. And then this is Winter Gardens Territory, just a bit further up. So it's, it's quite early, it's only about 10 o'clock on Thursday the 11th of August. There's Colin here, look. Look what we've found. Look what we've found. <laughs> I've only been here 10 minutes. <laughs> I've only been in Blackpool 10 minutes and look who the first person is that I've found. <laughs> Jane, ever so pleased to see you. Really we am. really must stop meeting like this, Colin. 
Well, I think it's. We really must stop meeting now. like this. I think it's, <laughs> it's too, too late. Now, late. <laughs> I really do. Do you know? I really don't know how we do it. I think we must be absolutely tuned in because the number of times I bump into Colin, I'll have not been here very long. I'll have not been in Blackpool long at all, and I can guarantee that I'll beat him somewhere. <laughs> It's really spooky. It's really spooky. And I think I was just saying that it's quite busy before I met the lovely, the lovely Colin, whose who's, who's channel is Seaside. We've just been talking all things tech. So he tells me that I've got to go around and see Tony at the bread basket. So that's what we'll do. I'll meet you down there, and then you've not got to, you've not got to walk with me. So I do everything that Colin tells me, and Colin said, pop in and see Tony at the bread basket, and then look who I found. <laughs> I'm following him round, I'm following him round, I'm stalking the poor man. I'm stalking the poor man, and, and Tony's been trying to ply me with, with things to eat, but I resisted. I resisted. Morning, Tony. Good morning, Tony. I know, twice in one day. Lots of lots of nice tasty things today. See you later. Bye Colin. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Right, we'll go and uh, we'll go and crack on now. I've just said to Colin the trouble is when it's nice like this. You just want to dilly doddle and just sit and sit and chat in the sunshine and I've got a list of things to do a mile long so we'll we'll go and crack on we'll go and crack on with our jobs so a couple of weeks ago I told you about the cat cafe coming to Blackpool and I reckon it's this old HSBC bank building and believe it or not they look like they're making quite a bit of progress inside according to their according to their Facebook page. This is Burley Street, which is where you can come to get loads of nice cafes, loads of nice cafes and, and different things. Now I'm not clued up on dance at all, but there's loads of signs around saying Udio Dance Festival. So it's obviously something quite big because there, there looks to be people from literally everywhere arriving in Blackpool at this event at the Winter Gardens. Quite fascinating, there you go. The Udio Dance Group, the Udio Group, sorry, dot com on that van. It's lovely to see people enjoying, enjoying the time, the time here in the town. It's packed, it's loads of folk. Do you know, it's absolutely brilliant in Blackpool today. There's kids everywhere with this dance festival. They've come from all over the world. There's, there's well, all T-shirts, all T-shirts with all sayings on them. I'm trying to read them all. They all keep bursting into little bits of, little bits of dance in the middle of the, middle of the street. I've just been chatting to the guy on the door at the, the Winter Gardens. And he was saying they came straight out of Rebellion with all the punks, straight into, Straight into the dance festival. This weekend there's the Jersey Boys. So it's all it's all packed in Blackpool. It's brilliant. It's lovely to see it so busy. Just makes you want to loiter. That's that's definitely a foreign flag. I'll not show myself up and try and guess which one it is. <laughs> I'm sure somebody knows. And we're on our way to go and have a look at some. Um, demolition now. Here we go. We've got some more here. Look, doing a bit of, bit of dancing, bit of impromptu dancing. I'm glad the weather's nice for him. At least I'll go away with a good impression of Blackpool. I keep telling you, I keep telling you how clean Blackpool is in the morning. And that's why it's clean because there's always people going round polishing, polishing the floor and keeping it lovely and, and well looked after. Just look at that, look at the size of the square and there isn't any litter. There isn't any litter anywhere, so watch what you're dropping, folks, when you come to Blackpool. Keep it clean and tidy. 
We're going for a total down topping street now. This is another fish and chip shop that's on our list of places to visit. It's, it's one of the top ones on TripAdvisor. Because just down here, just down here is the front of a shop that I commented on the back of the shop, if that makes sense. Oh, what a nice shop sign. Isn't that nice? Well, that's beautifully done. I think that must be new. I can't remember seeing that. I know Duncan Restricts were there, but their shop was yellow, yellow and blue. So just down here on the right hand side is the front of a shop that we were nosying in the back of the other day and I've now discovered who's having it and it's going to be antisocial and that's not antisocial as in antisocial behaviour it's antisocial as in a-u-n-t-y social I think it's the one with the scaffolding on and it's a sort of an arts collective it's a community organisation and they have a little shop at the moment called Sherebang, which is on the side entrance, on the Coronation Street side of the Winter Gardens. So they're going to be using this as their HQ and doing all kinds of interesting things from in here. So watch this space. Watch this space and we will tell you all more as and when we find out. Oh, they look like they've... That looks as if it's been a garage in the past. They look like they've put a full glass facade in it. That's rather posh, isn't it? And then, of course, Yorkshire Fisher is. I'm on my way down to the seafront. That's the whole subject of another video. And I've just noticed that they've got the, the finished exterior cladding on some of the Holiday Inn building, which looks rather smashing, I have to say. You can see it here, look on this one. And right on cue comes an ambulance. Not heard the siren for a little while. <laughs> no, 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 somebody's in trouble. So, um, Tramway Terminus, just under there, you might remember we, we took a ride on one of the first trams that were, that were testing. And then there's going to be car parking on the rest of the site. So that's exciting. They're clogging on a pace. You can see that it's all coming together. And that's where we're going next. That away, you can just see the sea at the end of there, look. And then I got a little bit of good timing for once. I got a little bit of good timing and I caught, I think this is a balloon tram, is it? Balloon tram 717. Looking radiant in the, the beautiful sunshine as it passes and drives up to the Blackpool Tower. Doesn't that look a Bobby Dazzler? And then, since it's so hot and I'm working so hard, in the sunshine, I thought I'd have an ice cream. <laughs> bon appetit, bon appetit, what more could you want on a lovely sunny day? It's dripping down my finger so I'll, I'll eat it. Oh, I'm doing really well this week. I'm doing really well. I've caught all kinds of things that I didn't expect to see. This is that blue bus that's on trial in Blackpool. Um, today and tomorrow, actually, a blue, a blue bus in a journey that doesn't cost the earth. This is on trial. I don't know how quiet it is. See if we can get a bit closer to it and see whether it makes a noise when it sets off. Um, this is one of the new electric ones that they're trialling. That they're trialling. Oh, it's very quiet. Wow. And they're what are coming to Blackpool next year. That'll be posh. That'll be very posh. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications and sign up online for your Visit File Coast e packed full of interesting things straight to your inbox.